Hi, my name is Suzanne Schmeling. I'm Director of Education for Associated Skin Care Professionals. Today I'm going to show you a specific deep cleansing technique that is very comfortable for your client. Let's get started. Now to start my deep cleansing procedure, what I'm going to do is turn on my steamer. This will be used for the second cleanse. Then I'm going to remove my client's eye makeup. So this is a technique using Q-tips, especially on the lashes, which can be the hardest thing to remove. Now my client has sensitive skin, so I've positioned my steamer a good uh, 18 inches away from her face. And now I will be removing makeup with it on slightly. I'm taking my pre-cleanse, applying it all over the face and over the eyes. Take it down the neck in case there's makeup there that needs to be removed. I'm then going to come in and remove eye makeup first, moving down and then out. This technique helps you uh, keep the client very comfortable. You don't have to have her open her eyes so that you can get underneath. Now, as you can see, my client is getting very red, which is okay. We already know that her condition is somewhat sensitive. Now I'm gonna go into my second cleanse and I'm doing the technique together. I haven't removed the first cleanse yet because I want to do a deep cleansing massage technique. For those of you that want have a lot of makeup on your client, you would want to remove that first. My client only has eye makeup on. So wet your hands. Now I'm wearing gloves just because I prefer it, but also I get a lot of cracked cuticles this time of year. So anything that can feel rough on my client's skin, I want to definitely remove. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse out to the decollete. So this is my application. Then I'm gonna go into specific cleansing technique. Starting at the decollete, I'm doing effleurage movements with a medium pressure. Think of your hands as a manual brush. You would be surprised at how much improvement your clients will see in their skin when they master the correct cleansing technique every day. The idea here is to really move the skin so that any debris that may be trapped in the upper layers of the stratum corneum can be moved out or softened. For my clients that have a lot of congestion, I'll actually do some small jacquet type movements to break up any congestion that may be in the skin. I'm constantly wetting my hands to make sure that I've got good slip and it's not drying into the skin. So just think with your cleansing massage, it should be comfortable, medium pressure, with a lot of movement. As you can see, her skin is actually even lightening up a little bit. We're doing a little bit of exfoliation at the same time, and the steam is helping to keep the skin moist. All right, that's your cleansing massage. Now what you're going to do is remove either with gauze or with a towel. I prefer a towel, but I'll show you a gauze technique as well.
To be sure that I've removed all of the cleanser, I'm going to just wet my hands and run it over the skin again to see if anything starts to emulsify. And we're good. So your gauze technique, if you do decide that you want to remove uh, with gauze, I usually do this when I'm removing makeup on the first cleanse. What you'll do is take a gauze, four by four, fold it in half, wrap it around your th middle three fingers, and then work from the forehead down. So take your four by four gauze, wrap it in half, and then around your middle three fingers and work from the top down. And this is very good at removing makeup on the first cleanse. There you go, your deep cleansing technique. So there's our technique for the day. Be sure to subscribe to Skin Deep and follow us on our social media sites. Thanks for watching.